Hello everybody, what's up? I am Kendra Smith here. We are going to be doing some pauper leagues uh, with some good old times. Just doing some elves. Uh, I was going to do like some other leagues and such. I was doing Legacy last night and I wanted to do some other stuff like a Pioneer or something. But you know what? Uh, I got like two and a half hours of sleep last night. Uh, even though I was pretty well rested the night before, um, I still want to make sure I get some good rest tonight. So I figured let's just do something easy, something that I know. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that want to see more Popper uh, Elves action. So I figured, hey, let's let's play some Elves and just kind of get through it real quick and see how it goes. I hope you all enjoy this content because I'm going to be obviously posting this one to YouTube as well. So I'm going to turn on some music and kind of get these links out just for a second. And uh, we're just going to take it away and get going. I'm really excited. I'm hyped as heck to play some more Popper. It's been it's been a hot second, honestly. I haven't been playing very much. Um, I've had mixed feelings about the meta game lately. But I think it's still kind of okay. So I guess we'll see. Um, my sample size has been kind of small in the last few weeks due to the fact that um, I've been so busy. And I also have not had access to a proper laptop. I'm getting a new one in within like the next day or so. So, you know, hoping... That that all works out for me here. So, uh, let me get some links going here, and we'll get going. Alright, well, I see somebody there. Who is it? Josie, what's up? How's it going? I'm just letting people try and get in here just a little bit and see what we can do. I'm ready to play some elves. That's what I'm ready to do. How are you doing? That's fair. Reasonable, reasonable, awesome. Right. I might just have to just go ahead and jump on into these matches. Just try and get some, get the some elves going on here. I want to wait until we got some people going, but you know what? <clears throat> Let's just uh, get going. People will pop in as we go along. That's the way I look at it, right? So let's see what we can get going on here. Locating opponent in stage zero? That's weird. I've never seen that before. I've always seen like stage one. But I guess they're trying to list us as stage zero. Who knows? Trinite, how's it going? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're doing I'm doing a little bit of popper tonight, like I mentioned earlier. Uh I was going to do, like, I did Legacy a lot last night. I had a lot of fun with it. And I really want to keep, like, either doing le more Legacy, do some Pioneer, try that format out some more, uh, some other things. But I happened to get, like, two and a half hours of sleep last night. And uh, kind of feeling that. So I figure let's get some Popper in. Popper Elves. Just make it nice, simple, easy. And, uh... Just kind of stick to what I know so we can just get going so that way 
I don't have to worry about the fact that I'm like really tired because I got like two and a half hours of sleep last night. So we can just go for it, have a good time, and some fresh popper content for everybody. That's how I look at it. How are you doing? Red, green, Tron. So, like, the, um... Is that, like, the old Teamertron builds? You know, they, they also run, like, Moldrifter, Thangram Marauder, and Olmog's Crusher. I don't know. There's definitely been a lot of interesting decks. Like, I don't know what's going on in the meta right now. Like, on the surface, if you go, like, into the, like, MTGO Goldfish or MTG Goldfish uh, snapshot of the metagame, it looks kind of the same as it's been for a while, but when you get into the leagues and you start playing all this different stuff, it's like, you start running into weird decks. I actually ran into One Land Spy the other day, believe it or not. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Marauder definitely makes that matchup a lot harder. I forgot about that. It's taking a while to find a uh, match. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little weird. Normally, I'm... I know sometimes these uh, it can be it can take a little bit of time to find a match, but usually it still goes within like a couple minutes, like two <laughs> tops. There it is. Oh no! Eli, Ellie. So they might be on burn. Uh, this isn't really the greatest hand for burn, but it's, I guess a good a good hand for like going in. Uh, but they did see me on Bogles the other day, so they may not be prepared for me to be on uh, elves this time around. We shall see. Whoopsie. Wrong button. Uh, but they have been switching over to Affinity. Uh, I think we should go for the Land or Elves. And this is basically what you want to do against Affinity, right? You just want to race them, like, as quickly as you can, so... Oh, hey, jeez, that well wisher's timely as heck. So we're gonna go Sylvan Ranger. Sylvan Ranger finds the island. We play well wisher. And we go Karen Ranger. I think I'm gonna attack with the nettles. Like that's that might seem weird to somebody, but there probably was not going to be an atog block there, because then they would have to sacrifice one of their two only two artifacts on their side of the board. And I didn't I didn't think that was gonna be very likely. Fling to get rid of the Wellwisher, what a power play. But we got Distant Melody, so we're just going to go off. They might even just scoop, honestly. Yeah, there's the scoop. Alright. Hmm. So I'm going to go in for two Prohibits just to try and battle back against uh, 
what's it called? Um, uh, Battle back against Kark Clan Shaman. I've really been liking the Prohibits. I don't know that three is the right number, but it's been feeling pretty good for me so far. So I'm gonna, I've been, I'm gonna keep trying to roll with it. Uh, going for Gleefuls. And really, that's kind of about it. There's not really too much I want to do here. Uh, so let's go down to two Melodies. Let's go to two Spider Silks, but we're not going to go too much higher than that. Um, we can go down to probably three Nettles, and we can cut a Timber Watch and a Hunt Master. We do this again just because they can just bolt these. We just... We want to be just trying to get off as quickly as we can and be able to recover from uh, things. Uh, this hand is good. It doesn't survive any electricities or anything, which is problematic, but it does a lot of what we want to be doing. And I think that's the important thing here. One mana frog might. Let's go. All right. So I could go in for the timber watch. Given what's got on the board right now, I think I just want to go in on the timber watch. If they bolt it, they bolt it. Whoa, metallic rebuke. I didn't see that one coming, so glad I threw the Timber Watch in front instead of the Wellwisher, because that would have been bad. Uh, with Hydro Blo or with uh, Prohibit, you're also hitting you're hitting the Fog Effects, you're hitting um, Swirling Sandstorm, Evan Carr's Justice. Uh, you're also hitting Leave No Trace, uh, Prismatic Strands. I think it just hits a lot of things, and I think it's uh, actually what I meant to play the Kieran Ranger there. Whoopsie, getting too caught up in these friendly discussions. So I, I think Prohibit just hits a lot of targets, and it really doesn't hurt us by playing it. You know we. We spend extra mana, but we usually have extra mana to spare if we have the blue mana in the first place to cast Prohibit. So I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Let's go for Lead the Stampede here, see what we can find. Alright, that's good. We know they got only one card in hand, so it's not really that much they can really do against us. Um, I think I just play the Vanguard here. Play the forest, play the vanguard. If they kill it, they kill it. But then next turn I can go ranger, ranger, mystic, nettle, nettle. Ooh, gleeful sabotage is really good. Um, but yeah, so like I just, I really think prohibit really hits a lot of the notes just as much as you would with. Um, Hydro Blast, and Hydro Blast is kind of limited as a result of a lot of these things, so, I don't know, I just think it's probably pretty good. Yep, and that's the scoop from Eli, Ellie. So, that's a really quick, uh, 1-0 to start us off here, so let's keep it rolling. See, this one we found a lot faster. Ah, Proboscis. Uh, so this is probably going to be the red-black monarch deck, and we are going to be in for a bad time. Well, we'll see what happens.
Honestly, keeping this with just the one land and the land of our elves is probably bad. But we'll see how this works out. <laughs> well, they got me. Kind of. So they got the melody out of there. But we still have some good stuff here. Like the fact that we still have this priest. You know. Odds are good this priest is not going to last the turn. Yikes. I'm just going to scoop. Because we know what, they're up, what we're up against here. And we're going to have a tough time, a really tough time coming back from that. So, I'm going to go in on three Prohibits, three Spider Silks. I think that's really all I can do here. We're going to go down to two Distant Melodies. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to go down to one Distant Melody. We're going to cut Longbow. And again, we're going to cut... I'm going to cut a Wellwisher and... Um, I think a Huntmaster. Like, I don't want to get bogged down too heavily on the high mana, but I really need to be going... I need to be focusing really hot, heavily uh, on just trying to go as fast as I can. You know, basically just slam into them as fast as I can. That's not going to do it. Um, That is not a good hand. It's better, but it's not really where I want to be. And they kept a full hand of seven. Uh, there's things I can do with this, so I'm gonna keep it. But I'm not. I'm not happy. We're probably just gonna treat this as a loss. And I mean, to be honest, this is such a uh, poorly favored matchup for us anyway that I'm probably just not even gonna bother with it. Never didn't have it. And this is about where I was expecting this match to go. I'll try and grind it out a little bit, because I think our setup is at least a little bit better this time around. But this is, again, just such a poor, poor matchup for us. Hey Penny, how you doing? Like I said, I'm not really feeling this matchup at all, but we do have a shot. Like, it's a very outside shot, but we do have a shot. Okay, so they're trying to keep me off the mana for Huntmaster.
Timber Watch is pretty solid, but I don't know that it's going to save us here. We're probably just dead. It'll take a couple turns to be properly dead, but we're dead. <laughs> like, there's no other way around this. Shittering rats, yeah. Jeez, that's the Gary for the win. Yeah. And all I gotta do is just attack in. Yep. And that was pretty much what I expected. Like, as soon as I saw who we were up against, I'm like, there's no way I win this, right? I just, like, I just lose. So we'll try again, see if we can get something a little bit better this time. This hand is great! And Affinity again? Yes! I will take this hand all day against Affinity. What is like the ideal th card that I get here? I guess it's arguable that I maybe wanted Priest over um, Vanguard, but I mean, I could take both, right? That's an Atog. Excellent. We're gonna play the Kieran Ranger correctly this time. Now I'm gonna go in on this Well Wisher. We're gonna see what happens this next turn. Okay, so I know they don't have the flint, or they, they, they ugh, I can't words. We know that they don't have the thing there, so I'm going to just throw the vanguard in front and see what happens. No, they found the blast. That's not good. Um, now I'm pretty much blocked the Atog. And just hope that they don't have a uh, team or battle rage or anything. Yeah. You'd love to see it. This 
is really weird. I think I just go for the well wisher. Go for a second well wisher as well. Like, I can't just go in on this Hunt Master as much as I really want to. Yep, so they just scooped it up there. Man, we just keep drawing forests. So we're going to do the same thing we did against the last affinity player. Just go up two prohibits, go up two gleefuls, cut a longbow, cut a melody, and cut... Well, no, it was a hunt master that I cut down, right? Nettle Sentinel. And I cut down one of each because I also went up a uh, spider silk. That's right. Nice, easy, easy peasy. So how's everybody doing tonight? Doing pretty good? Oh, wow, that hand is really good, isn't it? That lets me play Kieran Ranger, Birchlore, Finhorn, and spider silk by turn two. That's really good. Oh, it really was never an auto include. It was like, let's test this and see how it works. And then it's like, oh, but we are missing some key components here. Oh, we found an extra land. How about that? So basically, the key component that we're actually missing uh, is. Um, oh man, what's it called? Oh wow, they're stuck on lands. We're gonna take full advantage of this. Nice. Yikes. Thankfully, the Shaman doesn't really hurt us too badly. Like, it's not great, but it doesn't hurt us because we just got these Well Wishers. Oh my god. that 
Alvaro, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Elf Ball. How are we doing? This is interesting because what this tells me is that they don't really want to lose too much of their cre or too much of the artifacts, but they're gonna have to start blowing stuff up here really soon. Awesome! Glad to hear it. Hope you enjoy some elves. Um, if you were not aware, I am actually I have a. Uh, the, my elves primer on coolstuffinc.com. It's been pretty fun so far. I've been enjoying writing it and talking about it. So if anyone here has any questions or anything uh, pertaining to elves the uh, or the primer that I've been writing, I mean, feel free to ask. I'm here to answer some questions and just, I don't know, be that person that people can just, like, ask these things, you know? Oh, for sure. I totally feel that. I'm really surprised that they haven't, like, tried to blow this shaman yet. It feels really strange. Like, I'm, I'm clearly holding back for a reason, but, like, I'm gaining so much life that it seems strange that they're not doing anything with that shaman just yet. Uh, again, I don't know why they didn't blow that Galvanic Blast at this Timberwatch Elf and just sack two artifacts to the Shaman. Rivendell's that way. You just, you know, left past Mordor and all that. Don't do it. I don't know what they're doing. Wow. Wow. They just punted that. Unbelievable. Didn't hold the priority or anything, apparently. So, 
I don't know. It felt like they were making some questionable plays there. But, you know, we got there in the end, and I guess that's what matters, right? So, uh, take it for what it is. Good to see you, though, Armantana. How you doing? Hey. Hey, Diego. We don't talk about that. Rule one. Rule number one, remember? I'm pretty good. I am just a little bit tired. I got, like, only two and a half, three hours of sleep last night. But the night before, I slept, like, 12 hours. So I was feeling, like, super tired this morning. I'm a little tired now. But overall, I feel like I'm doing pretty I'm doing pretty well. So I was like, eh, you know what? I will just go ahead and jump right in and do some leagues and have a good time. Boski is good games earlier. That was like not a good matchup for me. So I just kind of went bounce. Hey, Proboscis, thanks for that follow. I got two follows. I should update that follow button down there, or that follow thing at the bottom there. Proboscis, you should do hashtag MTG Popper uh, when you tweet out those uh, posts. I see that one that you dropped in the on Twitter. Like that. If you do it like that, uh, it get it's it shows it to a lot of people who follow the hashtag MTG Popper and can get a little more attention that way. All right, so number four, let's we got not good. I don't know what that means. Whoa, that's really good. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. See what they got. Oh no. Not this again. I'm not sure. I'm certainly not familiar with them myself. Interesting Night's Whisper there. So they know that we have the melody left is all we've got left, but they clearly don't have any removal there, so I don't know what they're doing. Spectre, yikes. I also have six so I couldn't bounce back a land. That's unfortunate. Um I don't really need this mystic, so if they block it, that's fine. But I don't really want to trade this guy just yet. Leave the Stampede one time. Well, oh, Sylvan Ranger. Really would have liked to have had that just in Melody now, but I'll take this. I still don't really want to attack when they've got just four power and can double block, so I'm just going to pass it. Terminate, yep. Oh, and we got another Vanguard. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that sounds about like what we've been doing. No problem, Promatus. Glad to sh I'm happy to share a round of, uh, you know, popper posts, popper decks, what have you. And you gotta share that. You know, I mean, if anything, if nothing else, you've gotta spread that love uh, between everybody, you know? That's the only way we're really getting any further here. We just try and support one another. You know, obviously, everybody knows I have some contentions with certain people out there, but uh, for the most part, you know, we try and be good with one another. Sure, I will sacrifice this Sylvan Ranger, no problem. Another Spectre. Yikes. I have found half of my lands in the top 15 cards of my deck, basically. Top 16, technically, but... Who's counting? There's the gas. Yep. Oh, that sucks. But we're still in this game. That's really kind of what I'm concerned about. So. This one's going a lot better than my match against you, Proboscis. Yikes. Maybe not so much. I think I spoke a little too soon there. Uh, I still have an out, but it's not very likely for me. That's not it. My out was basically just a melody into a, a spider silk armor and just try and get there. But that is not going to cut it. So we're going to go up the spider silks. We're going to go up prohibits. Cut the melodies down. Cut longbow. Cut a well wisher, a timber watch, and a hunt master. Oh, did I miss something? I've already got one. I think it was just the Hunt Master that I cut down and just wanted to focus on the Timber Watch. That's what I think. I think that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. This hand is fine but it's a little risky at the same time i'm gonna try it but i'm not really thrilled to be trying it okay this is a lot better <laughs> Uh, just no yellow trickery. One time, please. Sick. This might just be a time walk, just because they might just have an answer to this. They probably do, in fact. But I think I want to try and kind of beat that out a little bit. And just kind of get it out of the way. Lightning... You got me. Let's go for this stampede here. I mean, there's got, there's bound to be other cards that elves will use in the future.
That just feels like a given to me. Alright, so I'm going to hold back this Finhorn Elves just on the off chance that there is a uh, Electricery lying in the, uh, you know, lurking and waiting. There's, a, there's an actual argument that maybe I should have actually attacked with that well Wisher. But we'll see what happens here. Uh, sure. And that's what I was concerned about. So. Let's gain some life. Let that resolve. And yikes. That sucks. Because we would have... If we had, if that had come a turn later, then we would have hit the prohibit, and we would have had the actual mana to cast it. So uh, we're in for a bad time. Cause this is gonna die. <laughs> Timberwatch is dead. Findhorn Elves is dead. I'd be surprised if both of these last a turn. Yeah. You're a little late. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. I find it really interesting that we really have not seen very many... Um, uh, common cards yet from Theros. I feel like, you know, I would have thought we might have already seen a little bit more than we actually have. But we really haven't seen that many. And some of the ones that we've seen have been, like, really good. Um, they don't really have a home just yet, but they're really good. So, um, I'm really anxious to see, you know, what they continue to give us. Because they're definitely clearly up in the ante a little bit here. Yeah, for sure. Wow, really? I haven't run into that much. Okay. They're going to hit the prohibit here. I'm just going to scoop. There's no way I'm winning that match. Not a chance. So we're just going to say screw it. Take the loss. And go on to this next one. I was really hoping that I would actually have some real games. So I could like show off some moves or whatever. Uh, some interesting gameplay, but uh, apparently that's not really what we're seeing tonight. We're seeing two affinity lists, and then two of that. On the plus side, I basically, I'm basically going to have this entire league finished in like an hour. I don't even know the last time that happened to me with elves. I don't know. It could be anyone. I mean, judging by how our last couple of affinity matches went, I would be happy to see some affinity. <laughs> but there's a lot of decks I would like to kind of bump into right about now. You know, Stompy would be really cool to, you know, bump into. Um, uh, hell, I would even take Tron. I think I have a really interesting game against Tron. And, like, if you go into, like, various, like, popper discussion areas, there's a lot of people that seem to have this weird idea that, like, Elves just folds to Tron in its current state, and, uh, I'm going to be very vocal in that I disagree with that. I think it's actually one of, uh, for me personally at least, it's one of my better matchups overall. I love the, I love that matchup. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Gasparado. 
Wow, that's a great hand. I'm gonna snap keep that one. Depends on what I see this first turn. I may just go for uh, Sylvan Ranger into another land. Oh, island? Uh, so I'm just probably gonna play the priest here. Oh yeah, double priest, let's go. Oh, that sucks. So I could play Priest, but then that makes it harder for me to also... Because then they're probably going to have the island... So it's going to make it harder for me to go for, like, Priest and something else. Because then what they're going to probably just do is bolt the Priest. So I think that right now, I'm in this weird, precarious spot where I really need to play the Sylvan Ranger. To get the forest. This way ensures that I stay on my land, on top of my land drops. Makes, uh, makes it so I can kind of try and get ahead a little bit more. Yep. Oops, missed, missed a point of damage. Realistically, that one point of damage probably is negligible, but I've also had a lot of games where that it actually did matter. So, it might come back to butt me in the ass, but we'll see how it, how it plays out here. Tragic Lesson. Card's so annoying now with um, the advent of Mystic Sanctuary. Unless you're running foil, I don't know why they haven't, like, F6 or anything. But I'm not expecting a board wipe pre-board like this, so I think I'm just gonna just try and go in. Try and spit out as many tokens as I can while I have a chance. Especially since this goes completely unanswered at the moment. Oh, I feel that. And, like, for elves, like, augurs, like, it doesn't really make that much difference. Like, it's a little annoying because I don't really want to throw a, a creature in front of it, but it's not that bad either. I'm really surprised they discarded a land as opposed to pi uh, picking up the Mystic Sanctuary, but okay, I guess? Question mark? Feels really strange that they did that they did it like that, but I mean, more power to them.
Lead is really good. We'll take that. Another priest and huntmaster. Sec. I can't do anything with that priest right now, so I'm just gonna play that and pass the turn. See if priest sticks around this time. What's up, uh, Argon? <laughs> Argon Beluga? How's it going? Smells like a ninja. Who called it? Jeez. That's interesting. I think I'm gonna give it one more turn, see what happens. Heck yeah, do it. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more, like, variety in my formats. Yesterday I did a bunch of Legacy. And I'm actually, you know what, I'm probably going to treat you guys to doing uh, one more uh, finishing off my Legacy League that I didn't get a chance to quite finish yesterday. Another ninja. Yike. One whole American yike. I feel like we should have played the Fairy Seer first and then the Ponder. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Oh no, I see what they're doing, because then they can Ponder, draw the one crucial card, and then uh, Fairy Seer away the junk ones. That makes sense, actually. One on top, one on bottom. Gas, 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 gas. This is really the kind of stuff that I want to be seeing here. Heck yeah! Play that four-color loam. I want to try that at some point. I really want to try just more Legacy in general. I played a bit of Maverick yesterday, and I played through a bunch of Hogak, but I wanted to... Uh, I My one podcast with a or, that I watched with a bunch of friends of mine... Uh, Magic Mike was doing a really special episode yesterday, so I wanted to make sure that I could get out there and be there and support them, hang out, have a good time. So, uh, I made sure to raid them. Kieran Ranger, sure. I don't even care, and we're reaching the point where I don't even care if they counter, because then we still get creatures, um, the vanguard still gets bigger... It's not really a huge deal if they spell Stutter Sprite or Counter Spell. Oh, Deprive. That changes things a little bit.
tragic lesson. Let's go. I think I can still try this. Like, I'm not thrilled to be doing so. But unless they have, like, another just hard counter spell. Okay. We still get our creatures, though. I don't really want to attack all in just yet. But we're getting really close, so that's what I care about. Tragic lesson. I wonder if they're actually going to do this right and pick up the land. Okay, they did. And they're getting scred. So now they want to race. I think at this point we just got to race them. Yeah? No. I want to keep back my Kieran Rangers so that I can set up my blockers a little bit better. Okay, that's interesting, so... What's going on? Oh, shoot! That's a problem for me. So we know they got the Scred. Scred deals with the Huntmaster. And they still should have a Scred, right? Oh no, because they just used it, that's right. That's good if it sticks, but it's probably not going to stick if they have two cards sticking in their hand. Yeah, I'm going to scoop. Not really any way I can come back from this, probably. Um, now we're going into post-board. We're going to have a hard time, so... We're just kind of going to have to do the best I can here. We'll go down to two Melodies, two Well-Wishers, one and one here. And... I'm going to go down to two vanguards. The reason I'm going down to two vanguards is because they can just scred them away. But if we can get them down quickly enough, then it's actually really beneficial to us. So we're going to try and roll with this and see how it works for us. I kind of want to prohibit, but I really don't want to go too deep on my sideboard. Like, if I can help it. Nice! 
That's cool. Oh, God. Mm. My legs are kind of hurting a little bit here. It's just been... I'm tired, and it's been just on my feet all day, so... Hope you all are enjoying the stream so far here. You know, I know it's been a... It hasn't been the best uh, stream. Uh, you know, we're running into some weird matchups, but it is what it is, I think. <clears throat> and again, I'm hoping to stream every single day in the month of January, everybody. That's right, one stream every day, whole month of January. My hope is that by doing it every day like this again, I can get kind of in a better habit to start streaming on a more regular basis once more. This is a really easy... We're going to windmill slam that scattershot archer. Zero hesitation. It's not long for this world, but by God, it's crucial that we get that on the board. Yeah, that's going to find a mountain. They're thinking about an electricery, and that's not going to work for them. I don't really like the fact that I'm drawing all these lands, though, if I'm being quite honest. That's really interesting, because they F6 to that turn. That means that they don't have, like, a direct bolt spell. I don't think it's fire and ice. I mean, it could be, but I don't think it is. I really think that they were hoping to try and <clears throat> stick, like, an electricery or something. And they missed the mark. Okay, well, now they got scred, so bye bye. So, if they have the electricery, the Birch Lore and Well Wisher are going to die. That's fine, at the very least. I was able to stick the landing on this uh, Elvish Vanguard. shuffled so that's interesting they're trying to beat out a neil or they're trying to get me to take a point of damage or they're trying to get me to let more of my creatures take a point of damage so that they can get a nice positive electricery here and i'm not gonna have that they can deal the damage to me That's interesting, but we'll take that.
Um... I don't think I had the mana for it. Unless I'm not thinking correctly. Right, and I didn't want to go and, like, tap down my scatter shots or anything. Yeah, I don't like tapping down scatter shot if I can help it. And I also want to make sure I can gain some life and such. I had plenty of mana with my forest, so it didn't really concern me that much. They might electricery me here, and if they do, that's fine. But no dice. So we're just gonna attack in. You're right, I should have done that. That's the electricery. Totally called that. So, you're right. So now we have the vanguard that's out of uh, swirling sandstorm range. They really telegraphed that electricery, too. Sure. Got me. Sandstorm costs uh, red and three blue. So that tells me that they have Tragic Lesson. And what I'm also gathering from this, and I'm basically pro, you know, showing it right there, that... This Timberwatch is just gonna die. They've got a scrut on top of their deck. It's just, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna die. Or my Timberwatch is going to die, I should say. That's interesting that they didn't pick up Mystic Sanctuary again in the Tragic Lesson. I don't get why you wouldn't do that. Vanguard's getting big. We might just be able to just out, straight up outgrind them. 
but it's gonna be hard. We'll have to see what happens. That seems about right. This is interesting if they, you know, have the scred that they're not going in at, like, Timberwatch Elf or anything. Scred, sure. You have double scred that's enough to take out the Vanguard. However, that doesn't, that still leaves me with the Timberwatch Elf. Which is a crucial card for me to have. Passing again, let me get a draw in. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. think because they the scred will two four six i think i just go for the nettle sentinel here so if they just try and scred that then that's not really a big deal to me yeah scred vanguard doesn't do anything that was certainly a choice For some reason, I think they were probably thinking somehow they had seven lands on board, so that it should have killed the Vanguard, but, oh! Big surprise, it's not a snow land, so no dice. Alright, so what do we got? What do we got? Lead the Stampede. You love to see it. Look at that! Tony Bond, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Elf Ball. How are we doing? And that's a scoop from them. So, maybe, just maybe, we might be able to eke out a win here. I'm not really the most confident, I'll be honest with you. I think we just had a lucky run that game, but we'll see what how this next uh, game three goes. hand is fine, but I think we're going to still be a bit on the back pedal. On the back foot. So, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm worried about. So, if I play this Vanguard, I feel like we're just going to get um, blown out by like a Spell Stutter Sprite or something. No, always lead with Lanor Elves. We do have a lead to Stampede, though, so that is a plus. Just have to see what they play. And they got the Mountain, too, so... That's not... That's bad news bears for us. But we're hitting our land drops, so I guess that's not the worst thing. I think 
I want... Well, Wisher, a little bit more. Not by much, but I do want it a little more. Spell Stutter Sprite. Did I get the read right? Yes, I did. Buh bye. Probably could have played that a little bit differently and made sure that I got Longbow on the board. But I guess we can do that this next turn. Just fine. If they try and scred my. or bolt my. Yeah, that seems weird. Very trigger happy. Mystic Sanctuary only does it if you have multiple lands, so that's not really going to work. Um, I think my play here is to go for all three Nettle Sentinel, Mystic, uh, Longbow. While I have the opportunity. Because next turn I can put longbow as long as they don't blow it up I can long or I can put longbow on nettle sentinel and there's the bolt totally called that Fortunate. I wonder if next turn I don't just try and go for Vanguard and Wellwisher, or if I try and go for uh, Longbow on Mystic. I think it'll just pay off better if I go Vanguard Wellwisher. Sure. Spell stutter. Got me. So I think next turn is when I probably want to go in with the longbow. Assuming that they don't bolt like my well wisher or something. They probably found something, question mark? No cards in hand. Okay. I like it. I like it. Do I get this? I do. Hello. Hunter and Preordain. They're just like trying to find something here, it feels like. One on top, one on bottom. What do they got? What do they got? All three coming in hot. Really? Going in on another spell stutter? That feels loose.
So I'm kind of sniffing out a swirling sandstorm. Yep, there it is. All right, and that's fine. Because now we have opportunities to dry and get... Oh, wow. <laughs> Unfortunate. This is great, though. Because we pretty much know that they don't really have very much of anything in their hand now. Lands. I'll take that. Scred? That's interesting. Okay. We'll see how this plays out. MT. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Elf Ball. A Popper Bonanza. Let me have this. Thank you. Pew. Excellent. Okay. We may have just come back here. I think that's how it is for a lot of people. A lot of people do that. Like, I've definitely been in, uh, like, uh, streams where I thought I was following somebody and then it turned out that I wasn't I'm like oh well uh, I'm gonna fix that I'm gonna attack there I feel like I should have actually played the spider silk first so if they have any like trickery then they can kill the priest and finhorn elves they might just be going for the counter spell here yeah all right, that's fine. Jeez. That's fantastic. I arguably could have gone in here too, but who cares? We're just pretty much winning this. Eh, I missed a trigger there. But who cares? We're in business. Do you have another counter spell? Nope. Check it. Just a little bit, yeah. I'm really, I'm not, I'm actually really tired, so I figured let's just get in on some popper here for the night. Make this nice and easy. Short little stream. Echoing Truth on Nettle Sentinel, that's cute. I don't get to re-equip the Nettle the Sentinel this turn, but that's fine. 
They're just dead anyway, basically. I think there's exactly one out, and that's basically if they manage to somehow hit another spell, or, uh, God, what is it? Um, swirling Sandstorm, but no. They just lose. And there it is! We three-twoed! Heck yeah! I'd like to see us do just a little bit better next time, but you know what? We're gonna open this chest! We're gonna have a good little time here, and uh, I actually promised other people I'm gonna do the... Oh, I got these too, so I'll open these as well. Um... I promised other people I would do the Hogak, uh, we finish that tomorrow, like, when I actually do something more, I guess, legacy-oriented, question mark. Uh, so, we're just gonna open these, round out the night. Hey, a blue elemental blast, that's pretty good. Take those for Popper all day. Walk the plank. And Mara, cool, I didn't know you could get Amaras through that. And let's open this chest. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? One time, big hits, no whammies, and confiscation coon. That's not really that good. But you know what's really good? Play points. Play points mean we get to keep going, keep playing more leagues going forward. So, you know what? Um, like I said, everybody, I need some sleep. I'm really dead tired. Um, I know I seem like I'm very energetic right now, and I think I'm getting like a second wind or something. But... I did not get very much sleep last night at all. I got actually like two and a half hours. So, um, I'm going to call it. And again, I'm going to just put it up. Here's my nice little list. You can see it right here. Um, I want to do a couple things. First off, as always, thank you CoolStuffInc.com for, you know, they're my employer. I'm writing great articles with them. I've got my uh, Popper Elves thing if you guys give me just a quick second i'll pull that up i'll pull up that article for you uh so you can see that uh duh, 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 duh. this is the most up the most recent up to date one i uh, have another one i think coming out tomorrow but i'm not sure it depends on how, um, how my editor decided to schedule everything um and uh, I want to uh, obviously give a big, big old shout out to CardHoarder.com. Without them, uh, all of this wouldn't be possible for me. So a uh, big thanks to them, big shout out. Uh, they have an excellent loan service, and I highly recommend them. So, um, and obviously if you uh, like the stream, you're not already a follower, you know, go ahead and hit that little heart button up at the top there, and that's a nice little follow. So uh, one other thing, if you guys ever want to communicate with me, the best way to do so is through uh, Twitter. I'm always on. I'm pretty active on Twitter, con like almost every day. And uh, Twitter.com/slash/TheMaverickGale, not the Maverick Girl, because somebody else already has that name. So with that, I'm gonna close up the stream here. I'm gonna go find somebody cool to raid. Probably my friend uh, Mark Daly. Oh, he is not streaming tonight. That's unfortunate. So you know who we're going to go ahead and raid? We're going to go and raid Caleb D. Caleb D is a really cool guy. I like him. And so let's go hang out there and just uh, give him some love. So hang tight. we got a raid going in just a minute here. And I will see you next time. If you want to check the stream, uh, check out the stream again, I am going to upload it to YouTube. So be sure to check it out there. And I, until then... Let's go ahead, give Caleb D a nice big raid, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.